Check it out, downtown Portland, Maine. In Maine, you can get paid to get high at work. Cooking for one has never been so fun. If you don't know what to make, it's never too late. The bachelor's fridge is kicking out the jams. And the jellies. Hey, our oyster gal pal from the High Roller Lobster Company recommended we get on the Eagle Island Ferry and check it out. So guess what we're doing next? Looks like I wound up on the Lighthouse Lovers Cruise. Let's see what that's all about. Looks like that's our ride. There's more than 14 adults on this boat. And the furniture you're sitting in is all movable too. So those circumstances where the boat goes one way, the furniture another, and the passenger yet another are the ones we try and avoid. Uh, but usually the tour guides know where we're making turns. Right here in a few minutes, our captain's gonna lay on the horn letting everyone know uh, that we are coming out into the Casper Bay. coming out I want the world to know this is fantastic the breeze is legit the view is amazing it smells like the freshest candle you've ever got from Bed Bath & Beyond that's called the wake that's the wake you knew that pirates of the North Atlantic They call this a spark plug style lighthouse. It's short and chubby, kind of like me. When we hit a million subscribers, I would buy one of these houses and the lucky million subscriber can come stay with me for a month. How about that? Tell your friends. Yada yada yada, and she and she says, "Those aren't buoys." <laughs> Those aren't buoys. The most photographed lighthouse in America. Up the tower, just below that color, the tower is quite rough. Uh, that's because when they were building a tower, they didn't have all the financial resources they needed. They went to surrounding farms and gathered field stones. They had expert cases to come in and build the tower of that. Uh, so where that color is, that's about how low the tower used to be to talk to the land together. Uh, and that was lowered because another lighthouse about seven miles from here, so it was halfway rock light was put in. Uh, so the local government lowered Portland headlight thinking that the local ship captain didn't need it as much, and then received heavy criticism from them. Uh, saying they still needed the tower to be very tall and bright. So they then raised the tower 20 feet plus an additional 8 feet where it stands at 101 feet tall above sea level. So it can be seen flashing every 4 seconds and can be seen 26 miles to the seaward on a clear day. They said we were going to see some seals on this trip. I haven't seen any seals yet, but that reminds me, I have a really good joke about a seal. If I think about it, I'll tell you later. So if you've noticed on our way in and on our way out on Portland's waterfront, a lot of these buildings are built of stone and brick. That's actually because we burnt down not once, not twice, not thrice, but four times in our years here. Uh, the most recent time in 1867, on July 4th, when a couple of kids were down on the waterfront in a wooden boathouse, and they accidentally lit that boathouse on fire. Uh, then spread to a sawmill and then a sugar house and I guess the wind was just right it lit 1800 homes ablaze that's Maine's most successful restaurant it's a floating restaurant in the 60s a guy tried to bring it up here from um, if I remember correctly Maryland and the bank said no way not giving you $250,000 but he went to 250 of his friends and family and borrowed a thousand dollars from each of them and here it is and it's Maine's most successful restaurant. Sounds like a good investment, dude. All right, so that seal joke I promised you. Put the kids away. This is PG-13 rated, uh, PG-14. There's no swear words, but let's call it PG-13. 
15. So anyway, it's a hot summer day in western Texas and a penguin uh, is driving his convertible down the road and he breaks down and pulls off to the side of the road and walks to the nearest town and finds a mechanic and tells the mechanic his situation. The mechanic says, yeah, we'll have it towed in here. Uh, no problem. We'll get that looked at. In the meantime, why don't you walk into town? It's only about another half a mile that way. There's a nice ice cream place. You can get some ice cream there. So the penguin, having nothing better to do, walks to the town, gets himself some ice cream. It's really good ice cream, like the best ice cream he's ever had. He's got it like all over his face. He's just really digging into it. It's great ice cream on such a hot summer day. It just hits the spot. Finally, a couple hours pass. The penguin decides to go back to uh, the repair shop and see what's up with his car. He gets back there and he says to the mechanic, hey, uh, what's going on with my car? And the mechanic says, well, it looks like you blew a seal. <laughs> it's just ice cream, I swear. <laughs> Let me inside. I want to know what's inside. This could be the mother load. Holy crap, it's open. Dare we? Oh my god, it's open. It's open. Ha! <laughs> and now we know. I'm about to have my second lobster roll of the trip. Holy crap, that's great. That is the best thing I've put in my mouth. Possibly ever. Wish me luck. I don't know if anything's gonna top that first one, but let's find out. Thank you. All right, lobster roll number two. This one's actually a wrap. I don't know if that was a mistake or not, but we're about to find out. It's good, but it's like the best thing on the menu at Denny's good, you know? It can only be so good. Very good. For Denny's. Anyway, uh, yeah, interesting bathroom, mediocre lobster roll, still great, but mediocre as far as lobster rolls that I've had. Uh, and I've had two now, so I can get cocky about it. This one was meh. That first one was amazing. Holy crap. I think there's a lobster rolls everywhere here. You can probably get one at McDonald's. I was kidding, but damn. Come on, feel the noise. Rock your boys. That's what Liquid Riot sounds like. That's the popular song by Liquid Riot. It's called Come On Feel the Noise Underwater. Just a tourist off the beaten path. Oh God, it smells so great over here again. Just like one of those Bed Bath & Beyond candles. What's the other place you get? Yankee Candles. Maybe a Yankee Candle. Oh, it's salty. It's delicious and briny. And oh my gosh, look what we've stumbled across. This is like these are buoys and other fishing accoutrement. Uh, these are buoys and other boating accoutrement. God, it smells great here. Wow. Always count on your boy, The Bachelor's Fridge. Oh, that was gross. I don't like saying that. Always count on <laughs> The Bachelor's Fridge to take you places that no one else would go. Because I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Don't tell anyone. Ooh, ooh. Lobster pots, lobster pots. These are lobster pots. I'm pretty sure, pods? Pods, lobster traps. Wow. Look it, look it. Check it out. Remember the old commercial for the Roach Motel? Black Flag Roach Motel. Roaches check in, but they don't check out. Kill roaches without poison, unpleasant odor, or mess. The roach goes in, but it can't get out. I'm pretty sure that's the same story here with lobsters. They go in, but they can't get out. Yeah. As someone who watched a lot of Deadliest Catch, on Discovery back in the day. I claim to have a little knowledge about capturing sea-faring animals for edible purposes, even though lobsters are slightly different. I'm pretty sure you go in that hole. And he 
see it never come out. I just kicked something in the parking lot. I thought it was a uh, bottle. It was not. It was this here lobster claw. Wow. The further and further down the pier we get, the more it smells like an octopus's butthole. And they have eight of those. It's because these guys right here are stuffing fresh chum into the buckets. Holy crap, look at all that dead fish. Check out all that dead fish. Ugh, it smells like you would expect it to. Holy crap, that's a lot of dead fish going into barrels. Well, say goodbye to Portland. Tomorrow we're heading home.